Next, we are going to auscultation. Okay. Now, normal breath sound is vesicular. What is vesicular breath sound? It is like rustling dry leaves blown by the wind. So, it is like dry leaves which is being blown by the wind. Whereas, bronchial is, bronchial is like tubular sound. Okay. So, normal breath so breathing sound is vesicular sound and what is vesicular sound? That also you have told me like it is dry leaves which is being blown by the wind. In vesicular sound, the inspiration part is more and expiration part is less. Inspiration is more, expiration is less and there is no gap between inspiration and expiration. Okay. Inspiration and expiration, there is no gap. Whereas in bronchial breathing, which we are saying it is like a tubular sound, it is a tubular sound, inspiration and expiration are equal and there is a gap. Now, normally how you can appreciate it? Just take your stethoscope and put it on the trachea of any of your friend. Whatever sound you can hear, it is bronchial sound. Okay? Dekho. There is a gap and equal. Okay? Where is vesicular you can appreciate anywhere if you do it on your health, uh, any healthy friend, the inspiration was so long and expiration is so small and there is no gap. So, this is vesicular and the above was bronchial sound. Okay. So, in vesicular sound, inspiration is inspiration expiration ratio is 3 is to 1, whereas in bronchial sound it is 1 is to 1. In vesicular, there is no gap between inspiration and expiration whereas in case of bronchial sound we have a gap. Now, presence of bronchial sound anywhere on the lung field suggests 3C. What are those 3C? Presence of any cavity or consolidation or collapse. It is simple to remember 3C although there are different type of bronchial sound also ok, but I do not think it is so important at this level. But just remember that instead of vesicular, normally in this area, bronchial sound should be present only in the larger air duct. In case it is present in the lung zone, then it suggests 3C. What are 3C? Consolidation, collapse and third is cavity. Okay. Now, let us see where all to auscultate. Ideally, we should be auscultating at 9 places. What are line place that we have done for via, uh, vocal formatus also that in uh, supraclavicular, infraclavicular, memory and inframemory, then axillary and infraaxillary, and then we have we have infrascapular, below scapula, interscapular, between the scapula, and then we have supra uh, uh, supra scapular or apex apex part. Okay, so total line area we have seen during vocal formatus during auscultation. Simply we can auscultate at three point if we want to cut short the thing or uh, if we do not uh, we have not uh, found anything any, uh, anything positive till now and we are not suspecting any disease. What are those three area? One at inframemory. So, you can auscultate at inframemory area. Hath rakhi yaha, kamar pe hath rakhi baithi dono hath rakhi One at inframemory area. Then you have to compare both sides. Then infra axillary, you have to compare both sides, and then infra scapular. And I have shown you where is the scapular. So infra scapular, and while doing the infra scapular, it's good if your patient remain in this position. And in this case, the scapula is being is being thrown out by the body, and now your respiratory part has been exposed. So at, at least these three sides should be auscultated by you. Now, we are going to vocal resonance. Now, what is vocal resonance or VR? Okay. Now, same whatever we have done during vocal formatus, formatus same we have to do here. And again, we have done it at nine places. Uh, if you want, you can skip it at three places, but it is advisable that you, you do it at nine place. Uh, otherwise, uh, strict examiner may cut your marks. So, again, you have to put the steth at 9 places, what are 9 places that I have told you, what are 9 places that I have told you and 
you have to ask or request your patient to say one 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 and then you have to compare both side okay you have to compare both side okay let's do then i will explain the thing ha boliye one hmm 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 we all know the three areas i hope so yes so we have infrascapular okay bolie one one hmm one hmm one hmm one hmm one hmm so at nine areas we have to find the vocal resonance or vr normal sound is muffled if the sound intensity has decreased either on both side or one side it suggests the presence of pleural diffusion means presence of some fluid between the my uh, steth and the and the alveoli pleural diffusion if it has increased like bronchophony is there it means it suggests presence of some cavity there is a phenomenon known as whisper pactrolochy what is this whisper pactrolochy it means if i will request my patient to whisper it will be like i i will be hearing that sound that whispering sound also like the patient is telling it into into my steth or uh, into my uh, ear piece let's see how to do so first i will tell my patient to say one one boliye one hmm one okay so i have compared both side and i have compared both side but suppose suppose my patient have my patient have consolidation then i will be expecting what i will be expecting whispering pectoralocky what is this push push kar zor se nahi push push ke bolo okay i cannot hear but suppose my patient have consolidation in that case it will be like his whispering into my ear his whispering into my ear there is one more thing which is known as egophony what is egophony if my patient have consolidation and he is telling something he is telling something like he is telling one then the low pitch sound will be remo removed and only the high pitch sound will be reaching to my ear so this is egophony and whisperly pectoralocky both will be both will be heard during both will be heard during consolidation okay now friend we are coming to we are coming to added sound there are three added sound which we have to look for one is ronkai other is wheezing or uh, uh, ronkai and wheezing they are like there are some confusing uh, like uh, facts which has been given in books but just for simplicity you can remember the wheezing is the thing which you hear from the uh, unaided eye or without a steth and wheezing we have told that it's whistles type of sound like which you hear during expiration and it is generally present in bronchial asthma if the such sound if you hear during auscultation with steth if you are hearing it then it is ronkai or or yes ronkai means ronkai is what the same thing that is which what we have told for which that the sound which is coming because of blockage of the small airway the sound which is coming because of blockage of the small airway so which wheezing generally it is expiratory the other thing is what other thing is crepts 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 are mainly inspiratory and and they are generally be heard during inspiration yes inspiratory so during inspiration there are you can further divide it into fine crepts and coarse crepts fine crepts generally suggesting of what suggesting of heart failure whereas coarse crepts are suggesting of what suggesting of some lung pathology like right? bronchiectasis so you have to look for the this uh, ronkai and crepts either at uh, like all the nine area i have to look for but generally it is present generally it is found in the basal area generally it is present found in the basal area and i have told you that fine crepts are the suggest, uh, are suggestive of what lung failure and coarse crepts are suggestive of either bronchiectasis or some some lung abscess okay now inspiratory early inspiratory is found in chronic bronchiectasis mild inspiratory is found in pulmonary edema and late is found in fibrosis or again lung abscess or cavity okay expiratory crepts are not so common but may be found in severe airway uh, obstruction like bronchial asthma biphasic might be seen in bronchiectasis okay and uh, regarding crepts we have already said that 
they are discontinuous and their duration is less than 20 second whereas which is which is continuous uninterrupted sound and generally present in and generally present in uh, expert so uh, this was the uh, ronkai and craps one more thing which you can see uh, you can hear and that is plural lap now what is plural lap plural lap is leathery sound like two leathers are striking against each other each other like this sound which can hear again plural rub you have to again same uh, auscultatory method and you can be hearing the plural rub during any pluri pluritis either it's because of uremic pluritis or anything and whenever you will ask your patient to hold the breath that plural rub that sound will disappear now how will you differentiate all these things plural rub is generally biphasic means you will hear it during inspiration also and expiration also. Ronka you have told me is generally expiratory. Krebs you have told me generally inspiratory. Okay, so main difference just remember Ronka expiratory, Krebs inspiratory also uh, variation might be there but just roughly remember and plural rub is biphasic. Okay, seen during plural uh, inflammation either because of uremic pluritis or anything. So friend this was the auscultatory finding miscellaneous uh, some sounds also you can hear like uh, during percussion you have find any uh, you have found any boundary of uh, this uh, hydronemothorax means tympanic dull above and uh, and this uh, stony dull below tympanic dull because of pneumothorax and stony dull because of pleural effusion now suppose i have found uh, that uh, such boundary is there at sixth intercostal space uh, in uh, uh, mid axillary line Okay, in mid axillary, I will put I will put my step there, and then I will I will seek my patient. Of course, I will explain the procedure to my patient before doing it, and at that time I can hear like I am seeking a pot any any pot which has been half filled with fluid. Suction splash also we have done in GI examination that was for pyloric stenosis. Here we are doing it for the hydronemothorax. Okay, so friends, just if. We summarize what all we have done in examination of respiratory system. We have looked for upper respiratory tract examination and lower tract uh, lower tract uh, examination. Upper tract we have started with nose. Then we have seen the uh, the uh, this any septal deviation. Then we have seen the pharynx, larynx. We have not examined that laryngoscopy should be done for larynx direct and indirect. Then we have come to lower respiratory tract. Lower respiratory tract we have divided into four part: inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Okay, inspection you have seen. We have inspected for like anteriorly. I have requested my patient to put the hand on the waist. Dono side rakhe. Then I have inspected for uh, equal symmetrical movement. Either the nipple is on the uh, same level. Then I I uh, inspected it from the po posterior side. That is back. I have looked for scoliosis, kyphosis, lodosis. I have looked for uh, if inter scapular distance is like symmetrical from the vertebral column. Then I came to palpation. I have confirmed all the finding of in inspection and then percussion, vocal formatus I have seen and then I have come to auscultation. Under auscultation I have seen the vocal resonance, then some added sound like ronchi, crafts and uh, this uh, plural rub and then miscellaneous sound like suction. It concludes the examination of respiratory system. Thanks.